What's up guys, this is Fido Holtz and today I want to tell you a story about something that had a huge impact on my career. The key word for this is Cherry Island. I told the story probably 50 times up to this point because whenever I gave a speech I made this as my prime example because it was one of the trips that had the biggest impact on my poker career. What was Cherry Island and what happened on Cherry Island. You have to imagine in 2013, I was 20. I think I was 20 years old. I made my first money in poker. I wanted to go full on pro. I had my group of friends that I played poker with and we were on Skype and, and, and talking all day. I always felt like I wanted to do this boot camp experience. I love this coming together grinding together, talking after we played and, and picking their brain and learning from them and, and learning how they play. And so my idea was to get people together in one place. And so I started looking for special places. And one place that I found is Cherry Island. And Cherry Island has a very special place in my heart at this point because I, I have so many great memories back to that time. And this was in 2014. So I look for these spots and then I find a cottage on an island in Canada. So it's basically a full on island with just one big house on it. I believe with about 10 bedrooms, nine bedrooms, something like that. And it was absolutely beautiful. Two hours north of um, Toronto, I think, in Muskoka. And then I committed to this. So I started talking to the owner and I made a deal with him. And then I started talking to my friends and invited top tournament players and some top cash game players. And a lot of them, you know, a lot of them were in my group and some were outside of my group or um, friends of friends. But it was really about people who are hungry, who, who really wanted to get better at poker. That was, that was the entire idea of this trip. And so it was so much fun. It was quite expensive. I think we paid uh, $30,000 for the entire month. So all in all, uh, 3K per person or a bit less than 3K per person, which then again, I, I think was a good investment for what we got out of it. But it was really a beautiful place. You have to imagine when we got there for Scoop. So the idea was we grind Scoop, one of the biggest series online from Canada where the lifestyle is much better. So we wake up early, then you have to grind, uh, you can grind the, the day, you don't have to grind the night, you don't have to have such a bad sleep rhythm. Then we have a nice big dining table where we can build up our setups and we can grind together later. So that was the idea of the boot camp, and that was the idea of Cherry Island. And so some of the people who were there, Ben CB was there, um, Korai was there, Fresh OOD was there, Stefan was there, Klaas was there, Reiner was there. Um, there were a lot of other people. Some just came for one or two weeks and then some joined later. But this was like the, the Stauso was there. This, this was the, some of the core people. When we got there, it was snowing. It was freezing. So we fly there. One of the first things we do is we buy um, computers. So we brought our laptops, but we bought um, desktops so that we HDMI cables. We drove there. We just bought like 15 of them and then um, got to the house and it was snowing and freezing. So we brought all our stuff over with the snowmobile. Um, the owner was waiting for us. We, we brought all the stuff in there and then that was a start. I believe it was April of 2014 and it was absolutely incredible. We were right in that moment when it turned from um, really cold and freezing to summer and sunny and right in that transition and we grinded all day long. So we got there, scoop started we played poker every single day. I don't think many of us took many off days. We played every day. We had hand challenges. We had tournament challenges, volume challenges. And every time I woke up, so I woke up maybe 9 a.m., someone was playing already. There were like two, three people playing. So it was really motivating that you wake up and there's someone studying already or someone playing already. Um, Stefan, I believe, really uh, liked to do these uh, earlier cash game sessions because they were quite soft. So I talked a lot to Stefan and Dürmer, who was also there, also a cash game player. So I played cash game in the beginning. I believe I played 60 to 100,000 hands with uh, a really good win rate. I, I think um, in the beginning I had like 12 BB per 100 and then in the end total I think I had like 7 or 8 BB and all of us were crushing. And that was really cool. To, I learned a lot about, uh, a lot from Stefan and a lot about cash game 
um, from these two. So I played a lot of tournaments as well. I think I played maybe 1200 tournaments um, or a bit over 1k tournaments that month and had a pretty decent month as well. But the house was absolutely crushing poker. I think in these three weeks of scoop, we just counted roughly, I think we won two scoops or three scoops and made over 900K, I think roughly $1 million profit in, in these uh, three weeks of grinding hard. And that already shows how much energy and, and, and uh, quality was in that house. It was absolutely crazy. And the really key aspect was to see how other people play and think. Because especially after I was done, I was walking around and I saw how, how many tables they play, how they stack their tables, how they do reviews, how they mark hands, how they use poker tracker or holder manager, if they listen to music or not. Like there's a lot of inspiration in seeing other really top professionals, how they work and how they perform and then soaking up and, and picking out the good things that were helpful for me. And I learned something about routine and discipline from Ben. And I learned about from Stefan about cash games and HUDs and also more 100 big blind and deeper stack gameplay. And, and we talked a lot about how to play against fish. I learned a lot from Reiner about um, sit and goes. He was grinding a lot of sit and goes back then. So there was something to pick up from everyone. And that was so valuable and, and not only valuable, but also really cool. It was just super fun to spend time um, there with friends and improve. And the other fun aspect that was very valuable was the Whirlpool. So basically after every grind, um, we had a really nice big Whirlpool to chill out in and that's where the nicest conversations happened. So especially later at maybe 11 p.m. or 12 or one when people had a beer and were just chilling, and there were like three, four people there and we talked life, we talked strategy, we talked plans. And that's when we really bonded and I think um, we shared a lot of valuable things and important things and intimate things as well. That was a really cool part of that entire aspect. And maybe these three hours a day of just communicating and connecting um, over, over weeks was to me one of the most meaningful aspects of that experience and journey. So Cherry Island, super sick experience. And actually what was crazy is this was one of the years in Canada or specifically in that region when it went from really, really cold to super summer hot in two days and all the mosquitoes were popping up. It was everywhere. When you went outside, you had, I, not joking, about 50 mosquitoes sitting on you immediately and you could literally just tap them and kill them. So it was so many everywhere. When we were driving with the car to the supermarket and we parked the car on the parking lot, the blood was dripping off the car because of all the mosquitoes we killed. So it was really, it was really uh, crazy. I've, I've never seen something like that. So it forced us to stay inside when it actually was really nice outside or, or pretty hot. Right after it was so cold, it forced us to, <laughs> to stay inside and keep the door shut because otherwise you couldn't sleep at night. So there was one week where we were hardcore locked inside. And then later we also had some time to enjoy it the summer and, and uh, the really nice nature around there. And another part about it that was pretty interesting as well was lifestyle. Having that commitment and that discipline to do workouts, um, eat healthy and have a routine around um, doing that every day. Like there was a level of accountability that this house brought in that I would never have had if I was by myself playing from home. So there it was at least nine hours of playing every day for weeks on weeks good food, almost every day a workout, socializing, playing games, talking with each other for a long time, and it felt great at the same time. So my takeaway is it was one of the coolest experience um, that I could imagine. I believe if you want to get good at anything, I cannot imagine better ways to get, to get together in a really, really intense way with other people who want to do the same and just work on that. Just pile in hours and hours and hours and energy and energy in this month I probably learned more than in the 12 months before. So one of the most valuable and crazy experiences in my life, the kickoff of my career into Super Hurlers, Cherry Island, life and game changing experience for me. So if you can, I can highly recommend you to set up your own Cherry Island. I did the same thing similar. A year later again in Costa Rica, which was also really cool. There it was higher stakes, more selected, not the same young competitive uh, drive, but also still really, really awesome. Every time I've done this, and I, I do this in the business uh, sense right now as well. Absolutely incredible. Some of my best experiences and memories in my life. I can only, only recommend you to 
call your best friends that, uh, or the, the friends you have in poker or in, in any other area, set up your own cherry island, your own experience and uh, improve together. Go for it. Go for what you love and uh, then it will work out and you will get better at it and you will have fun doing it. The best mix you can throw together. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little story time around Cherry Island and, and one of the most relevant moments in my career um, to spin that off and, and get into the highest games and, and play the toughest games and crush the toughest games. Cherry Island, my story. If you'd like to see more stories like that, please leave a like and subscribe. It really motivates us to see that you appreciate the content I put out and keeps us doing more. So I hope you have a wonderful day. All the best, Fedor. Thank you.